All right, so I'm going to quickly walk through how we can add Google as an external identity provider to Pangolin. Uh, it's pretty easy to do in Pangolin Cloud. You can go to the Identity Providers tab, click Add Identity Provider, and see the Google options here. We also have an option for Azure. So I'm going to start from scratch, but I already have a site set up to a remote server with a resource exposing Grafana. So you can see that resource is here. And of course, I'm serving that at a custom domain. So I have a domain attached to my account um, as a domain delegation. This is just a throwaway domain that I have that I'm using for the demo. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is go to Google Cloud Console and create an account. Um, once you log in, you'll see a welcome screen just like this one. Uh, we need to create a project so that way, that way we can set up the client credentials to authenticate with Pangolin. Um, so first click select a project and then click new project. And we can just call this, you know, whatever you want for me, I'm going to call it demo. Since I'm logged in with my Google Workspace account, I are, it's asking me to use my organization. Uh, but you can use no organization by default and that should work just fine. But I'm going to create this. This will mean that um, I can assign only the users in my organization to be able to log into Pangolin. Click create. All right, then once that project is created, you can click select projects up here in the notification and select a new one. Uh, and then you can search for Google Auth platform. And this is where we'll set up our OAuth client. Click get started. We can give it a name, I'll call this Pangolin. And then I'll just use uh, my email here as, a, as an example. Click next. And then under the audience, you can select between internal and external. I'm going to choose internal, so that way only my Google Workspace users are able to log into Pangolin. If you use external, keep in mind that anyone will be able to log in. And you'll have to either restrict, be okay with this, or restrict uh, the logins on Pangolin itself by provisioning specific users. Click next. And then I'll enter in my email address as the contact email. And I'll finish. Now what we can do is we can go over to clients and we can create a new client. So I'll click create client, select the web application as the type. You can give it a name. I'm going to keep this uh, default for now. Um, leave all this empty for now and then click create. Right now we've been given the client ID. So I'm going to copy the client ID. I'm going to go back to Pangolin and then go and create an identity provider. I'll select Google. I'm going to give this a name. Just call it Google. Uh, I'm going to put in that client ID I just copied. And then I'm going to go back and also copy the secret and enter in the secret. I'm also going to enable auto provisioning. So what auto provisioning does is when a user logs in, it will automatically assign them to the role of your choice, or you can create an expression that will dynamically assign the role based on the returned information from the identity provider. You can take a look at our docs for more information about how to provision, configure this. But for now, I'm just going to assign everyone to the admin role. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the identity provider. So the next thing I need to do is I need to copy this redirect URL into the Google project. So here, let me add that under, um, go back. I can add this under authorized redirect URIs. So now if I go to Pangolin and go to my resource, I should be able to visit this um, if I actually log out. And now I visit this uh, resource. It's going to prompt me for resource login. I can select Google this time and then use my Google account. Grant permission. And boom, there I am. I'm in. Now if we go back to the Pangolin dashboard, you'll see that I'm also authenticated um, as Google. And if I go to users, you'll see my new uh, Google account here that's connected. And I can even change the rule if I wanted to. So what I can actually do next is I can set a custom login URL for my authentication page. So what this means is um, when you go to log in with a resource, it'll show penguin.vasorial.io up here. But what if you want that to be your own custom domain? Uh, that's what this is for. So you can go to the settings and go to the organization, click select domain. And then assuming you already have a domain attached to your account, you can choose any subdomain. I'm just going to go with authenticate. Uh, I'll go ahead and select it and then save. And because I've already tested this, uh, there was a cert acquired previously, so it was instant. If you're doing this for the first time, it might take a moment for that certificate to get generated. But just like with the resources, it shouldn't take very long, maybe just a minute or two. So then if I actually go to this URL, I'll just copy it in a new tab. 
uh, you'll see that I have a login page just for my organization. If I click Google, it's actually not going to work. Um, this is because the redirect URL we set up earlier um, is not using the new domain. So I'm going to close this tab and then go back to my identity provider. And you'll see that this URL is now different and it uses the custom domain we set up earlier. So I'll copy this, go back to my web client, and then add this URI um, to the console. And now if I go to settings, visit my um, URL again, click login with Google, I'm automatically authenticated. You'll see I have my new session. And this works with resources as well. So if I go to my resource, copy this, log out. So if I actually go to this resource URL, you'll see it takes me to the login page just like before, but with my custom domain. If I click login with Google, I'm taken through the same authentication flow using my Google account. And I'm given access to Grafana, which is fantastic. Next, if I go back to Pangolin, and then if I visit my um, authentication URL, um, just get rid of all this, I'm automatically given access to my domain, excuse me, my organization. So that is a brief overview of how to set up uh, an IDP with Pangolin for Google. It's actually very easy to do, it only takes a few minutes, and it really levels up the authentication that the platform provides.